secondly, you, you mentioned uh, Liston talking about no one eighty five pound is gonna gonna be me. Now Rocky Marciano was the heavyweight champion uh, just prior to Liston sort of making a name for himself, and Marciano was around that weight, one hundred eighty five pounds. And there, there are some people will say Marciano sort of he sort of retired because he was still great at the time he retired. He was undefeated. Um, it be Archie Moore's last fight, uh, and he was still a great boxer. Do you think Marciano had one eye on Saint Liston uh, no. when he retired? No, no the, tracks, the, no sort of rumors. Yeah, I think it was in 1956. I, I, I read an article in um, um, a European publication, and uh, the boxing community had taken note of Sonny. Archie Moore said, told the author. There's a, there's a fighter in St. Louis blowing like a hurricane. That was his quote. So, but Marciano retired for a couple of reasons. He couldn't take the training. He told Ash Resnick, he says, it's not the fight, Ash, it's the training. I can't take the training. He trained like a maniac. He had to. He had to be in the best shape. He never stopped throwing punches. He had those short punches. Uh, so, Plus the fact that his manager took 50% of everything that he made in and out of the ring. And he hated Al Weil. So no, that, don't tell anybody who says that, uh, and, I, and I know I hear that a lot, or I read it a lot, that he retired so he wouldn't have to face uh, Sonny Liston is, is not true. He wouldn't have wanted to face Sonny Liston, no. I mean, Rocky Marciano, good, really good 185 pound fighter. Um, uh, but he had a 67 inch reach, not 68, it was 67. And I don't want to piss anybody off because, you know, the people that love a fighter love him to death. But Sonny could have stood, put his left hand, uh, his left fist on Marciano's head and Marciano would not have been able to touch Sonny with a punch. Yeah, 17 inch reach difference, isn't it? Yeah, and a 25, 30 pound weight advantage. I mean... Size matters. Size matters. And Sonny, he was only six feet, one half inch. His best fighting weight was 209 to 212, but he had that big fist and an 84 inch reach. And I don't think I would maintain that Sonny would not have been at a size disadvantage against any fighter Tyson Fury, anybody, George Foreman, anyone, because of the jab. Because you were going to eat a lot of jabs and they hurt. Sonny Liston knocked people down with a jab. Yeah. 